Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hound. And again, today we get one part <laughs> and we've been having a slow countdown over the last uh, well, almost two weeks now from Wargaming uh, with these uh, little pictures confirming, you know, what's coming as with regards to the legendary uh, ships. And uh, today, out of nowhere, uh, not that we were expecting anything to drop, uh, they've just dropped another one. So, okay, so I've discussed this a little bit in the previous videos about the legendary tier coming, and I thought it was going to be the dockyard. Uh, I think it's running on the same principle by the sounds of it, but it's called the Bureau. Uh, so the Bureau is going to be a facil facility, a place where you're going to research the legendary ships, as well as other projects in the future. So this isn't just going to be a dockyard. Um, there's going to be more to it, um, which could be quite interesting. Uh, so uh, to begin the research, uh, literally all you do is activate a project. So... Uh, activate the Amator, the Gross of Kerr first, or the Alaska. You just activate it. Uh, and to speed it up, you can assign specific ships to project stages and complete specific missions. So, uh, for example, um, I don't know, you, you would attach the Monarch and you go out and cause 30 fires uh, or something along those lines uh, so the projects require maintenance so basically you need to log in daily to continue the research uh, when you log out it lasts for 24 hours it will still research for 24 hours so uh, basically they want you to log in every day and play uh, which you can completely understand <laughs> they're trying to get <laughs> they're trying to get as many people playing the game as possible uh, commanders will also uh, play a role in speeding up the process uh, although they haven't specified any details about this so you assign ships you complete missions log in every day and this will continue the research of the ship now one thing i mentioned and i was really fearful of and thank god uh, what came in seem to have done it right uh, this time. Uh, so, yes, doubloons can be used to boost the research of the ships, but no more than 40% of it. So every single person is going to have to grind to some extent to get these ships. You're not going to get any wallop, wallop warriors going, boom, Yamato on the first day. Uh, if they get the Yamato on the first day, they've done a hell of a lot of grinding and put some cash in towards it as well. So I know people could quite possibly call me a wallet warrior. I've got, Christ, almost every single premium ship they've released so far. Um, but I'm glad. So for people, and and yeah, for people like me, uh, especially during this crisis, uh, I'm still in work. I still do my nine to five uh, job every day. So I don't have the time really to grind these ships i might not be able to grind every single day but for people like me who have that little bit of disposable income but don't have the time to play we can speed it up a little bit if we want i'm probably not going to bother if it's grinding and it's missions it gives us something to work towards uh so there's been a bit of speculation i've seen the question being asked uh in the comments of my previous videos about you know oh have they have they confirmed the yamato well, they pretty much did, because in the first release, they went legendary ships, old and new. Well, there was only one old one, and that's the Yamato. So, yes, the Yamato's come in, and in this update, they have confirmed the Yamato is making her return. So the Yamato is definitely going to be in the lineup of ships. So we can confirm 100% Yamato, uh, which is a tier 7 Imperial Japanese Navy battleship. We can confirm the Tier 9 Alaska, which is a American cruiser, and the Tier 10 German Grosser Kurfürst. Uh, as our th uh, and those are the three that are 100% confirmed. We're definitely getting them. Uh, there is going to be another update note uh, coming out tomorrow, uh, and uh, they're going to basically go into all the detail on the B row in these update notes so obviously as soon as i can as soon as i clock off work uh, i'll get into those notes get reading them and uh, and we'll have a video out going through the 
the finer points and seeing what sense we can all make of it and what it means to us coming down the line. So, uh, as always, um, I'm probably going to set this as a premiere, so I'll be available in the chat to talk to uh, as, as soon as this video does go live. Uh, and obviously, feel free to chat about it in the comments. Uh, even days later, I go back and I check the comments on my videos. And I've got a lot of not we've got a lot of knowledgeable people here, and it's always good and interesting to read the discussions after. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video. As always, the gameplay in the background purely just so you're not watching a screen of me rabbiting on. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Hope you're happy about the fact that uh, you know you can only you, you can't wallet warrior. You can't just outright buy these ships uh, and. You don't need to spend any money to get them either. Uh, it will just take you a little bit longer. That is, uh, that's the meat and bones of it. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, which looks like it'll be tomorrow, we will have a WTF video out later on this evening. Take care.